Mistakes in World of Tanks with Dangerously Incompetent. I'm driving the OI, Japanese Tier 5 Heavy Tank. We're on Corellia. It's a Tier 5 Battle. Now the mistake I want to show you is somewhat later in the match. But in the meantime, let us consider camping. Now my understanding of the definition of camping in World of Tanks particularly is taking a very very defensive position and then not moving despite the fact you're not getting any shots all the action is happening away from you where you can't make him hell hardly see it let alone shoot at it and then you stay there despite the fact all your teammates are dying the enemy kills your teammates because you're not there to help and then the enemy come and mop you up when they finally work out where you are and they just chuck, there's just so many left they outnumber you so many then you and you die now that's my understanding of camping but one of the enemy tanks who was it he was in the stug uh, he's either Magogasha or Stalker Melinikov one of those stugs anyway we'll see later he accuses me of camping so Pay attention to where I go in the map, and uh, you let me know whether I've been camping or not. Now, as the mistake I want to show you is quite a bit later, I'm going to speed it up slightly. So, we're not doing well in the northwest. We are doing all right in the southeast. Um, it seems to be missing a few shots. The gun on this OI is, is pretty good. It's pretty accurate for the size of it, but it's not as accurate as it could be. And there are snapshots particularly. It takes you a long time to aim. So snap snapshots tend to be a bit inaccurate. And... Yeah, a long time to aim before you get the good accuracy out of it. And so we've won the south east quite happily. Uh, here's this is where we start to make the mistakes. So the enemy are all over the northwest, and look where we are. We're on the top of this firing shelf. A number of us, a number of us, on low health, but we've got a couple of people going. Oh, go cap, cap, cap! Let's rush to the cap. And I mean the enemy cap, whereas the enemy are very close to getting our base, so that's why I'm going back. But watch what our guys do in the middle and towards the enemy base. That's it. They're going out into the open. At Type 95 will be spotting the Su-85, the Sherman 3 and the T-34. So they're all being seen. And the enemy on the northwestern side aren't being seen and are in a position to shoot them. And now they charge out into the open, into the swamp. Ah, that is a huge mistake. Those three on the firing shelf should have stayed there. They've got cover, so they can soft cover and hard cover. They can get behind the soft cover and shoot from behind it without being seen. With that KV-1 in the, in the, out in the open he's likely to get the enemy to fire and thereby give their positions away. The Stug 3 has cheesed it from the base after calling for help. I'm going to come back but he changes his mind in a while probably because he gets shot at. So here are our guys in the south they're just totally in the open and as you watch they'll get butchered. They'll die in the open. Meanwhile, I've scared the enemy, well, I'm about to scare the enemy out of our base and save us from win from losing by a cap. Oh, he's just about run away. Stack 3G's come back. Help. But by the time I can get to these guys, Someone else killed them. So all the guys in the south, apart from that Su-85, and he's not long for this world. Oh, and the KV-1's still going. But everyone else 
jumped out into the open and died for it. What a mistake. And we had an we had a numerical advantage just about. We certainly hadn't lost it until they did that. Now there's only three of us against four. The Su-85 stuck out in the middle of the swamp. So what can I do? Well, I've got to take a guess about where the enemy are and where they're going and try and jump them there. Uh, I intend to go up to this dip in the northwest corner, make sure that's clear, and then I can move down a bit, have shots on the swamp in case anyone goes after that Sioux on our side, but it's too late, he's dead. Thinking about going down a bit further, get shots on the 285, but he's out of spot, and that Churchill would see me as well. So let's work around and get the Churchill, I think. And so here's me camping. I've been halfway around the map on the eastern side. Now I'm halfway around the map on the northwestern side, so I'm camping hard, obviously. Come on, Churchill, where are you? Stick, oh, oh, stuck 3G. And who's that? Stalker Milinkukov. Let's see if he comes around this side. He was certainly running away this side. Nope. Oh. oh, and one of the others has gone to our cap. Uh, oh, best go back and try and interrupt him then. Rather than lose by capping. But wait, who is this? Come rushing around the corner to try and get in there. Oh, yeah, rear. It is... Stalker Melnikov, who dies to another snapshot. Oh, he's reporting me. What's he reporting me for? And that was a quick old type from his death. Let's, uh, let, let's go to our key binding for the reporting. The random one comes up. Oh, let's, uh, let's shove it in his face, you reporting idiot. Meanwhile, the enemy are capping, they're probably going to cap by win, win by capping. The Stug 3G is charging, but that's going to get him killed. No, no, you don't broken the game's rules, you just camp. I just camped, did I, Stalker Melnikov? Yes, I've been stationary the whole game. And hidden, yes, no one at all has seen me. I've never popped up on the mini map. Never, 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 never. Stalker Melnikov, you don't pay attention to the mini map, and you're an arrogant, ignorant fool. But the enemy have won. Oh well, never mind. 